What if I told you by following these strategies I'm about to tell you today and implementing them, you could potentially make a six-figure online business from the comfort of your own home. This is not some cookie cutter video that I copied from all the dozens of other videos out there talking about the same stuff. This isn't making content to make content. This truly is a video that will change your perspective on the future of developing online businesses. Don't believe me? Just watch. Don't believe me, just watch. What if I told you this is my exact strategy for building my seven figure online businesses? What if I told you that you could save hundreds if not thousands of dollars that you would pay for a professional and just follow this simple video that I'm gonna lay out exactly how to do it for free. Sound interesting? Drop a like on this video right now if you're excited and let's jump right into it. This video has two components to it. The first details out exactly step-by-step -step how to build out your Shopify backend, what theme to use, what apps, how to set up shipping, and set up all your policies and everything like that. This is truly a step-by-step -step process detailing it out so that your store is in good standing and you're all good to go. The second part is working on your framework. And this is the part that you don't see online. How exactly do you word and structure your site so that you can make your potential customers red hot and wanna pull out their wallets? Now I'm gonna be building a store around a product that I recently recommended in my top 10 winning products to test out right now. This stress relief phone case is going crazy on TikTok right now. By the way, this store is actually something that I'm going to give away. You can actually win this store that I'm building right now. All you need to do is like this video and go follow me on my new IG where I'm gonna be announcing the winner very soon. So pause the video, go and do that, and we'll pick up right where we left off. So let's get into it. The first thing we need to do is to develop a name, okay? Develop a brand for this. This will define your business. And if you're not feeling creative, you can hop over to businessnamemaker.com and they will generate one for you. Type in different words until you get a bunch of ideas. You can scroll through these until you find something that you like. You will then need to get yourself a domain. Hop over to godaddy.com or another site to claim your domain. Next, we need to create a logo. And don't worry if you're not a designer, you can hop over to a site like canva.com where you can design a logo in less than a minute. Now, people focus too much on the logo. It's not gonna make or break your brand, okay? Some of the biggest brands in the world are just the company's name. Just make sure it's simple, professional, and explains what your product is. And just a little sidebar, I did order this product off of Amazon so that I can make some custom content that we're gonna piece together later. Now this isn't required, but I highly recommend you do it because it's going to boost your conversions and your credibility tremendously on your website. Once you sign up for a Shopify free trial, what we need to do next is actually set up something on the backside that I'm gonna walk through you right now. Okay, so once you sign up for the Shopify account, the first thing you wanna do is go down here and select add domain. And then you wanna go here and click connect existing domain. So then we'll just type in that domain original original popitcase.com and I'll do connect automatically and then hit connect boom success close that out and it'll take a couple minutes here for it to actually go through and verify it but we'll we'll skip on to the next part okay so the next thing we got to do is do some general settings in the back end just to make sure you're good um, first, we want to come over to general here. And once you're on general, if you scroll all the way, and you should fill out all this information, it's super important just to keep you in good standing with Shopify. Make sure you fill this out legitimately and give them as much information. The one thing you want to focus here is your store currency. You should put it in US dollars or wherever um, you know you, you are located at. So just make sure that's all good because that's, that's what you're going to receive um, when you get payouts. Then we'll come back to settings here. And if we go to payments, there's a couple things you wanna set up. One is going to be your PayPal, and then the second is going to be your Shopify payments. And that just ensures that once you do that, you're getting your money you know, very quickly. So as you can see, it's gonna have me add my business details. I will do that later. But you will come down here, complete your account setup for PayPal. And um, again, your Shopify payments, uh, your Shopify payments will be um, available to activate once you get those business details in go back to settings. Okay, so the next thing we wanna do is come to legal here and we're going to get your store policies put together and luckily Shopify makes it super easy. All you have to do is click this create for template for the refund policy. And one thing to note is that it will populate whatever email you used um, into you know 
the verbiage down here. So make sure that you've got, you know, your professional email in there or whatever email you want to use because your customers will be able to see that. So just make sure in the, the general information that you've got the email that you want in there, but we'll just keep populating these down here. So for privacy policy, hit create from template terms of service, hit create from template. And then your shipping, you can put whatever you want in there for the sake of this you know, time. I'm just going to hit save and get that all put together. Okay. So the next thing we need to do is to come over to our online store, go down to navigation down here. And we're going to mess with the, the footer in the main menu. So the footer, we're going to come down here I'm going to click on this and we're going to add some items down here. We're going to do a contact us. So I click on this. Click on pages, click contact, and then we'll just add that in. And then we're going to add in all those policies we just created. So we'll do, you know, a refund policy. Click on that policies down here and that'll just populate like that. We'll add another one. We'll add that in. So we've got a contact us, refund policy, privacy policy, terms of service. The other one that I would include is the track your order. So there's an app that you can use to track your order and you create a page in here. Again, I'm trying to keep this video somewhat brief, um, but that would be the only other thing that I'm going to include in here. So we've got that saved and now we're going to do the navigation and this is going to be even more simple. Oh, sorry. Let's back this up. Click on main menu here. And we're going to delete out the catalog. We do not need that. I'm going to leave the home and contact. And what I would add in here would be the, you know, track your order and the about us. Okay. So those are the four things you keep it very simple. Those are the four things that I include. And then you just save that and we'd be off on our way. So the last thing we gotta do is come over to settings and we're gonna go set up our shipping. And once we're in here, we're going to manage our rates and we're going to create a uh, we're going to add a rate here. So this will be free and this will say just no shipping time rate name, just free shipping. So boom, we'll add that in and we'll hit done. And then what we're going to do is we're actually going to delete all these things that they have populated already. Boom. And then you do the same for the rest of the world here. So you'd add a rate. Custom flat rate, we'll say free shipping. We'll hit done. Boom. So you got that all hit up. Now we hit save. And an important note right now is your store is going to be locked and actually put this on. So once you actually get a plan, you'll come here and you'll hit disable password because otherwise any visitor that comes to your website is going to have to enter in your password to get to your site. I guess you could probably see that's a problem. So once you get everything built out and you're ready to start running traffic, make sure you disable your password. Otherwise nothing is going to happen for you. So the last thing we got to do here um, on this part is going to install an app. And the one app I do install is Oberlo. There's other apps that I do add in that I'm going to put up on the screen so you can actually see those, but I won't go into detail about how I use those. Um, and, and to be honest, you want to keep it very simple in the beginning. Don't use paid apps. Don't, don't use, you know, don't try to add in all these different apps that you think are going to change your business. Um, they, they help at, on a minute scale, but ultimately keep it simple. Keep the ones that I put in there and we'll keep moving. So what we got to do is here hit, um, customize store, go to search apps. We'll type in Oberlo here. Actually it's down here. If you want just a quick little shortcut, we'll hit add app. It's going to be a free plan. All we need to do is install the app. I have to log in with my Oberlo account. So the next thing we want to do is actually import the product using Oberlo. And this is just going to be the entry level to getting images and all the information that you need for the product onto the actual website. Um, we'll talk about in different videos where to, where to source products and what's the best way. But this is just a simple video of how to get that information on there. We'd go to Oberlo, go to import list, find products, and then just type in whatever it is. So bubble phone case, let's say add import list down here. Perfect. So then we go to import list. We've got this one that's populating. And then all I got to do, and I, you can change information on the front end. Usually I just do this on the back end, but if you wanted to change this to like pop 
it case. You could do it like that. And then change your variance, change your pricing again. I do all this on the Shopify side, so it's however you want to do it. But then we just hit import to store. Um, I'm just gonna do active because I'm not running traffic to this. Import is active, boom. That'll, that'll all get put in there and then we're good for this part. We will then need to pick a theme. Now you can scroll through Shopify's free themes and pick one from there and that'll do just fine. Now I've been telling people if they wanna boost their results and separate themselves from the competition, they're gonna to wanna to go with a paid theme. Now if you wanna know what I personally use, I use Debutify theme because they are one of the best in business when it comes to converting customers. The way I see it is that if I have a site that converts twice as much as in you know having a Debutify theme, I'm able to get twice the profit without doing twice the work. Now Debutify is gonna have a lot of extra features and apps that you would have to pay for separately anyways that are included into the theme, so it's a no-brainer. Now once you get the theme downloaded, the next thing we need to do is to get the content. Now I like to get everything ahead of time, that way that I can just, you know, plug and play and be off on my way. Now you won't need to start from scratch with all this content because everyone knows that the scariest thing in life is a blank slate. Now what I will do is I'll find five to ten different websites that are selling the same product and open those up. I will then create a swipe file where I pull headlines and paragraphs and images and maybe there's something that I liked, maybe a phrase or something like that. I'll pull all of this into that swipe file. Now I'm not trying to be perfect, I'm just trying to pull all the information that I can into this swipe file. After I get all that put together, I'll then go through and start editing and start to put things together. A good strategy that I'll use is come up with three to five different headlines and this will be the main selling points of your product. Now I'm going to be talking a little bit about that because it's crazy to see that nobody's talking about this online. This is million dollar advice. You have to view your website as a 24-7 salesman. Imagine if you walked into a car dealership right now. If a customer walks into the dealership and the first thing the salesman says is, hey, you need to buy this car because it's the coolest, most fuel efficient, it's the most badass car in the market. Even before asking their name or asking how they're doing, it's going to start to turn customers off. And this is why people fail in e-commerce. Instead, a salesman will ask questions, try to understand where the customer is at, and have a conversation in their language. Let me give you an example. On this site, the first thing they say is fun and colorful pop bubbles to relieve your stress. Now that's okay, but we can do better. Let's ask the customer a question. I would say something like, anxiety getting you down? Or what if there was a magic tool that could relieve all your stress? Then you'll go into talking specifics, letting the customer know that you understand where they're at. You need to relate to them specifically like you're having a one-to-one -one conversation. Focus more on benefits, not features. How is this going to make the customer's life better or easier? Remember, people buy an emotion and justify with logic. When somebody buys that car, in their gut, they feel that they need to have it. And, and they're, they're visualizing how people are gonna perceive them while they're driving it, right? That's an emotional reaction. Now, when their friends ask them why they bought the car, you know what they're gonna say? They're gonna say something like, yeah, I mean, it's, it gets good gas mileage and uh, you know, it's, it's a high resale value, right? If you don't understand exactly what I'm saying right now, don't worry about it. At the end, you'll see exactly how I tie all this together, so stay tuned. Once you have your three to five headlines, you're gonna need to start creating paragraphs below each of these headlines. The key here is brevity. What can you say to get the customer to get to the next paragraph? Always peak curiosity, always have a conversation with the person viewing the site. I'm telling you right now, people don't talk about this in videos. That's because 90% of people that are making videos online are just regurgitating what someone else said. This seriously will revolutionize your business if you learn nothing else from this video. Let me say that point again. Your goal with each piece of information is to get them to the next piece of information. For example, people run ads and they try to sell it from there and fill all the details and the specifics about the product in the ad. That's wrong. Your goal is to give them enough information to pique their curiosity to come to your website. Then your first headline should get them to read the next headline, to read the next headline, and so on. The more time you spend with your customers speaking directly to them, showing them that you understand where they're at, is going to ultimately lead you to be more successful in e-commerce. If you found any value up to this point, go ahead and drop me a like on the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Now, if you're someone that works best directly with somebody, I just opened up a couple seats in my one-on-one -on -one mentorship where you get to work directly with me. All you have to do is fill out the quick two-minute application down below to see if you qualify. The next thing we need to do is to build custom content that will brand your store. This is often overlooked and why most people fail in dropshipping. What I'm getting at here is custom graphics. What do most people do? They get images from AliExpress with low-quality cameras or they copy directly from the customer's site. And what do you end up getting? 
Everybody looks the same. Now you don't need to know design or Photoshop or have thousands of dollars to get some of this custom content created. You can hop over to Fiverr and find someone for 10 to 30 bucks that can create all this content for you. Trust me, this makes a huge difference and it's going to justify your cost. Now the fun part begins. We're going to pull all of this information and content and pull it into our Shopify dashboard in this simple drag and drop system. Now I'm gonna save you the time and I'm just gonna show you the results. But first, I need a second to put this all together. Voila. Now, you can win this site, like I said in the beginning of this video, all you have to do is like this video, hop over to Instagram and go follow me out there and I'm gonna be announcing the winner very soon. Now, I know there's a lot of information to cover in here and I'm available if you've got any questions or you need some clarification on something. The best place to reach me is on that IG I just mentioned, so go ahead and just shoot me a DM out there. Now, I'm gonna just pause for a second and let you enjoy this website right here. your thoughts oh and just a, a friendly reminder that you should always be viewing your site in mobile version because 90% of your traffic is gonna come from mobile so this is what they're gonna be seeing other than that best of luck we'll catch you on the gram peace